Hi, time for another unboxing. This is the July Sketchbox, and I do want to apologize. This is a little late because I was on vacation. Um, my husband and I always go to a music festival in Illinois called Audio Feed every year, so we were there, and we did a, a little bit other miscellaneous gallivanting. So um, now we're finally back, and this was waiting for me. Uh, let me admit that I did not mean to buy this sketchbox. I ordered the one I did for uh, last month, and then like the day after they ship it, they billed me for the next one before I even thought about canceling. So just a word of caution, if you wanna uh, just get one, or if you're thinking about canceling after the initial purchase, um, yeah, just don't forget, because I already actually am getting another one right after this. Okay, here's the sketch box. I have pre-sliced this open. Oh no! This was open! Anyway, here's a, <laughs> here is probably what would have been a nice um, brush pen. Bummer. By King Art. Ink line pen. So, yeah, I'll just put this on. Maybe, maybe if I shake it up and it'll revive itself. We got a couple Copic markers. A violet and a lavender. And these seem to be a Sketchbox Brush Marker 2.0. So I'm excited to try these. I've got Coral Reef, Tangerine, and Blush. And it looks like they have two ends too. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what is this? Try Blend. Light Green Blend. Wow, I have never seen one of these. I have no idea. So we got light. Oops, sorry. Light, mid, and dark. Wow, we're gonna have fun playing with that. Take out this nudas. We got the little sticker that comes inside. A Strathfor marker smooth surface pad. I have never used a uh, Strathmore marker paper before, so I'm excited to try that. And let's see, we've got the menu of all the things that are inside and I accidentally got two of these the they always send a featured artist and you know some a little example of their work and little info about them so this is this month is Janice Rago so I'm going to look her up check it out Okay, so let's test these out. Okay, so this paper, this is really nice. It's really thick um, and really smooth, which is different than what I used back back in the day whenever I went to Pittsburgh Technical Institute. The, the marker paper we had was very, very thin. So... Huh, let's see how this works. So let's see if this guy revived itself. I did shake it up a little bit just to see. Um, let me read about it here. King Art Inkline Brush Pen, retail price $2.99. Uh, okay, so let's try that out. Yeah, it's dead. Bummer. It's see the the nib seems pretty nice if it worked <laughs> oh well okay so I don't know if you've used Copic before but these are like pretty expensive markers Let's see lavender and violet retail price $7.99 each staff favorite ooh I like this 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 side is the flexible brush, and it just feels real nice. Let's try this. This is 
lavender, although to me it's more like a rose. So let's see. I remember blending these markers whenever I was in back in tech school. Uh, I, that's, they do blend pretty nice on this paper. We'll wait and see how that dries and how it looks whenever it dries in a few minutes. Okay, so let's try the Sketchbox signature markers. So just like the Copic markers, they have a chisel side and a brush side. So let's try the chisel. Wow, that is a bright orange. This one's called Tangerine. Very nice. Yeah, and this feels about the same as the Copic. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's try this one is the coral reef. I love coral. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Lots of pigment in them. And this is the blush. So let's try to blend these. First I'm gonna put down some of this. Oops. I prefer to use the brush side, like always, so <laughs> not sure if that's a normal thing, but ooh. Hmm. I feel like the paper I used to use back in the day was better than this. I'll have to try to find what it's called so I can put a link to that as well. It was almost like plasticky so that it would kind of float on top. Okay, so this is the Tri-Blend Spectrum Noir. And it has a light, mid, and dark. Light. Wow, this this is gonna be super convenient to have all three colors right there together. Although I feel like this isn't as juicy as the other markers. Let's see if I can blend these out. They seem okay. So this Sketchbox Signature Brush Markers, they are $6.99 each as opposed to the Copics that are $7.99. Although this says that these are exclusive, so apparently you would not be able to buy them anywhere but in the Sketchbox. Then we have the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend. It says, new, retail price $4.95. A new release from Spectrum Noir. This marker has three separate ink reservoirs and adjacent colors for blending. We included this to add some greens to your floral palette this month. Oh, that is very, very nice. Um, and then I should go over the Strathmore 4x6 marker pad. It is a retail price of $3.99. So yeah, uh, just from this little trial, I feel like this... Paper, ooh, it really bled through. Okay, good to know. This is this is definitely different than what I used to use for markers, you know, but I'm no expert in markers. I primarily use paints. So I went and dug around my purple cabinet and I found the marker paper that it's pretty similar to what I used like 20 years ago, okay? <laughs> but this is what I picked up. Not that long ago, it did not come with the Sketchbox, obviously, but I just wanna kinda use this for a minute to verify my thoughts on this, cause I feel like this is, it's thick, but it bleeds, and it doesn't blend as well as I remember. So let's let's try this. Um, as you can see, this paper is, it's very thin and it's very white. 
I guess you can, I don't know if you can see the difference between these two whites, but this is not as a pleasing of a white if you ask me. So, I really like to load up the paper with the juiciness of the marker because this paper in particular, it doesn't soak in instantly. So you have more time to kind of push it around and blend it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, it's still kind of wet. And it, it takes a few minutes to dry. But that's what I like about this. It doesn't soak in as quickly. So let's play with these Copic markers on this. That's a really pretty, pretty purple. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit easier to blend with this paper. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, check out my Patreon link below. I just launched it a couple weeks ago and I would love for you to check it out and consider supporting me. I have a lot of, well, not a lot, but several tiers to choose from. They're all very affordable and have lots of fun things going on. So yeah, thanks. Have a great day.